G'day guys. Uh, today we're just going to quickly run through the basic setup of how to connect your auger drive to your excavator. We've got some of our demo gear here, so uh, it's a little knocked around, a little rusty, but uh, you'll appreciate that uh, it won't turn up to you like that. It uh, will be nice and new. So uh, we're going to run through the um, what each unit is. So we're going to start with the hitch here. So we'll run through how to connect to your quick hitch. Most machines are going to be set up with a quick hitch. They're going to be varying brands, so check your operator's manual for the quick hitch you've got of how that operates and how that will uh, connect to whatever you're connecting to, in this case our auger hitch. If you don't have one of those, you can also just go directly onto your boom and your dipper. Those pins are loose in most cases, unless you've ordered with fixed, but in most cases they'll be loose and allow you to fit it straight onto the machine. So you grab your linkage arm, doesn't matter which end, it's mirrored, so you just slip that in, line up your hole, slip that pin through, have it so that your clip is on the opposite side to your hoses. Once you've got that through, put your clip in, lock that into position, we're ready to go. If you roll it then from there, that will hold it. So it just moves side to side, but it holds it up here. You're not trying to then hold it up. Just go over to our hitch, slip our pin out of there. Okay, so we're just gonna roll that over. Again, just line it up. Get the dog bone between it. Get your pin in. There we go. Just sit it in, line it up, ready to come through and connect with your quick itch of your machine. So once we've got the drive coupled onto the machine, we just lower it down to a height that we can uh, reach the um, couplings on the machine. You just want to quickly disconnect your couplings by aligning the little nodule here with the cutout of the coupling. Push those together, we've made sure it's nice and free and we're going to connect it to the hose machine here which should have the matching couplings here so just push that into the unit till it clicks in nice and tight um, and then you just repeat that on the other side. If they do get locked up or hard to connect you simply two spanners slightly loosen one of the couplings, this will relieve the pressure a little bit of oil will come out, so have a rag or a bucket underneath it. Tighten them back up and they should click together nice and easy. Okay guys, so we've got the drive all hooked up to the machine, we've got our hoses connected. So the next thing is to connect the auger. Now if you've got a, a small auger like this, it's a bit of a one man job, you can just lift that auger onto the drive and pin it off. If your auger's slightly larger, you can get two guys, just lift that on and pin it off. Uh, we do sell cradle hitches, which will hold that drive up for those large augers that you don't want to um, have to be able to lift. You can get that auger into position and then lift your drive and push it in and connect it that way. Um, or again, some guys make their own cradles up where they've got the augers sitting up in the drilling position. So once they're in this connection, they just simply come over the top, drop it into the hub and pin it off. Nice one-man operation, but that's um, unique to each guy, how they set up their truck or their storage cradle. So we'll go through, we'll just connect this one on and then we'll be able to get ready to drill. Nice and simple. All digger shafts are designed just to bottom out on the uh, on the square or the 65 round so that you're not sliding back having to line up those holes and that pin will drop in nice and easy. Okay, so we've got everything connected. It's just operations of your excavator now to lift that up and ready to drill. So that's just the basic setup of how to hook up your auger drive onto your excavator. Um, 
plenty of guys will have better ways, easier ways, set up your own ways in your truck or in your storage cradles to connect that, but it'll all still run through the basic connections of how you connect your hitch to your machine, your linkage to your drive, and your drive to your auger will run all through the same way. So if you need to check out any more drilling tips on different ground conditions, different attachments, check out the Digger YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe, give us a like. If you need more information, give us a call, talk to the sales staff, only too happy to help you out. See you guys.